Hey guys, on our way to Just Green, so now week two of Operation Transformation, we were discussing some of the vitamins and minerals which we uh, suggested last week. Now we understand, of course, we don't have the blood work to go off, but this is just our top five, top six supplements. And if you're alive in 2017 today, you should consider in incorporating as part of your nutritional intake. And so we're gonna go to Just Green, hopefully let us film there. We'll be discussing what, why, how, and uh, I've also got no affiliation with Just Green apart from keeping them afloat financially with my Quest Bar purchases, and uh, we'll see how we go. Hey guys, we're here at Just Green. We're going to take you through some of the supplements we've been discussing would be uh, worthwhile considering introducing into your nutritional intake, whether or not you've got the blood work to prove whether these things are necessary or not. And this is just simply statistically based, so it's far from doctor's advice, big disclaimers here. But this is the kind of stuff which consistently comes up in terms of vitamin and mineral deficiencies for most people. And so we're gonna go through in no specific order these top five or top six supplements which you should be introducing. Number one, these guys have got brilliant Dr. O'Hara's probiotics. Um, this is probably my um, first choice when it comes to brands. So the reason Dr. O'Hara's are so good is that they not only contain a significant amount of probiotics, what you're looking for is CFUs, okay? So this is basically a unit of measurement to measure how many uh, beneficial bacteria is in these probiotics. The reason these ones are so good is they generally have a lactic acid bacteria blend and also some prebiotic cultures in there as well. So not only has it got the beneficial bacteria but also the prebiotics which are gonna feed that beneficial bacteria. Okay, number two, we've been talking about a good quality B complex. So we're talking about vitamin B1, B6, B7, uh, B9, B12. Look, um, all these have specific purposes and they're, they're relevant to certain metabolic uh, processes uh, or different functions in the body, but a good quality B complex will actually have a considerable amount of these all in it. So um, Garden of Life are a great brand, very, very reputable, been around for many years. Um, high quality raw ingredients. And this one has your B1, your B2, your niacin, which is a B5, uh, B6, folate, which is your B7, and vitamin B12, which is probably the most important. So a good quality B complex is very, very crucial, not only to adrenal fatigue uh, and basically um, neural processes, um, it's important to immune function, uh, it's important to just general well-being. So vitamin B complex, is very important. Magnesium, now if there's one thing you ask most functional medical specialists about, what could you introduce into most people's nutritional intake? It's usually always magnesium and D3. So the reason magnesium is so important, it's the most abundant mineral in our body. It's in literally every single cell in our body, um, from our organs, through to our skin, through to our hair, which I don't have. But the magnesium that we're looking for is anything ending with an eight. See, mag magnesium oxide by itself has to be chelated and basically bound to other amino acids for it to be actually absorbed. So what you don't want is a magnesium oxide. And you might find in other stores or online that the very cheap magnesium products are actually just a magnesium oxide. So here we have a magnesium citrate, which has a much higher level of assimilation and bioavailability within the body. Um, another magnesium citrate, and this one here is a magnesium a calcium and a C. I can't pull that out, but this one here we have magnesium carbonate. So as I said, anything with an eight on the end, glycinate, orotate, um, uh, citrate, all of these are great. Um, in terms of a dosage, look, I'll, I'll update in other videos. Um, my general take on magnesium for a woman is probably about one to two grams per day. For a male, it might be anywhere from two to three grams per day, but um, that's just my personal opinion. So a good quality magnesium, anything any with an eight, I really like citrate, personally. Vitamin D, this one's number one. From the functional specialist which I speak to, almost every single person they test is deficient in vitamin D. So we're just simply not getting enough sunlight. We're not simply synthesizing that and producing the vitamin D within our bodies. Now, vitamin D acts much more like a hormone, but without getting too deep into it, there's a lot of different theories around 
the vitamin D dosage which should, we should be taking. I tend to be further up on the spectrum. I like to see people, especially women, around about 5,000 IUs per day. The general rule of thumb could be you know, five to 10,000 IUs a day for men. But the recommended daily intake by the FDA is only 600 IUs per day. So there's a big difference here between what is the baseline you know, regulatory uh, uh, information in terms of how much we should be taking versus what the functional specialists are actually seeing in the trenches and in the clinics. So this one here, is 1,000 IUs per serve. So you're gonna have to take you know, five of these per day. Have a look around, you will find other products which are either 5,000 or 10,000 IUs per capsule. So you wanna get the highest dosage possible and uh, a good serving of vitamin D daily is absolutely essential. So that's it guys for your basic supplement stack. We could add a whole lot more things in here. I, I believe vitamin C should be there absolutely. Um, I, I believe that probably Things like cumin and turmeric and a lot of anti-inflammatory supplements should be in there. But in terms of a top five, that's gonna be it. We're gonna go with zinc, magnesium, a good quality B complex, a probiotic, and vitamin D. Awesome, our next video will be on uh, supplements which we can look at to help with adrenal fatigue. So um, things like ashwagandha, um, there's some other adaptogen herbs. So we're gonna go through that and our next video will be on supplements which assist for living in the crazy world we live in in 2017. Awesome guys.